and welcome back to the Conscious Consultant Hour, Awakening Humanity. I am very happy, very pleased, and very joyful uh, that you are all here with me today, whether you're listening through the website at talkradio.nyc, on the stream, on, on websites, on apps like TuneIn.com, or on on um, on uh, what's that thing called? Oh yeah, iTunes, um, or in in the podcast, or on the Facebook live stream. We've got lots of love showing up on the Facebook live stream. Thank you all for for tuning in. So our topic for today is generosity, and generosity as a spiritual practice. And this is something that I kind of uh, learned a while ago, and and. Uh, you know, it's really so important and we really, uh, it's one of those things that's so basic and sort of so common sense that we forget about it. So it's one of those things that we need reminders of all the time. Oh, thank you, Dana. Yes, I'm grateful for you as well. I'm very glad you're in my life. I uh, love my comments on the Facebook live stream. Yeah, and by the way, I mean, in case I, I forget, and I do forget to say this sometimes, if you guys on the Facebook live stream want to, like, ask a question or make a comment, just type it in in the comment section on the under the video, and I promise I will read it off and respond to it. So generosity. Why is generosity so important? Well, uh, the thing is... They've even done studies about this, like measuring people's electromagnetic frequencies. And guess what is the highest frequency they have been able to measure on the Facebook live stream? Ooh, was that Damien? Thank you for the thumbs up, Damien. The highest frequency they've been able to measure is gratitude. That when we are grateful for something, like that puts us in... The, the, the sort of highest vibrational state, which is why I say, and I say this often, that when we visualize and when we think about what it is we want to manifest in our lives, if we use, if we meditate on it and we use that visualization as a, a, just an excuse to be grateful and act as if it's already here, that that like removes so many energetic blocks and that smooths the path and greases the wheels so much that it, it's like the, the secret shortcut to bringing anything you want in your life. So what do you want in your life? Let's say you want a partner, you want a lover, you want a, an amazing relationship in your life. Start visualizing as if you have that relationship in your life. And when you visualize it and you meditate on it, think of how it's going to feel having that in your life and then act as if it's already there, right? Your friends don't need to know the difference. You don't got to tell them, oh, I've got this imaginary relationship and it's the most amazing thing in my life. No, just act as if you do have it. You know, how would, you, how would your posture be different? How would you walk down the street differently? How would you interact with people differently knowing you have that relationship already, which you're in the process of manifesting? Right, Rob? I'm bringing on my sneak guest who's not on the Facebook live stream, my wonderful trusty engineer and assistant, Rob K. I completely agree. And... Um... You know, it goes back to something that I said to you uh, just recently. I said, yeah. the vibe don't lie. Yeah, the vibe don't lie. I like that one. It's all in the vibration. It's all in the energy. And it's like if you, if you want to attract something, you have to be in that vibe of it to feel it. And a lot of times in life, I'm sure you've experienced this as well, that before I manifest things or experience them, sometimes I feel them coming or right. happening because right. I'm feeling the energy already before it actually manifests. Right, right. And so this is the idea. The more we cultivate that feeling of what it's like to have that thing manifested in our life already, the faster it can come to us. So it all depends like what it is you want to manifest. Do you want to manifest a new job, a new business, a new career, more money in your bank account? Um, you know, and, and again, going back to our quote of the day from the universe, don't worry about the how. 
right? Sometimes we get stuck because our conscious mind is like, well, that's crazy. How are you ever going to manifest that? How is that going to come to you, right? We get caught up in that mind chatter of that. Well, how's that going to happen? How's that going to happen? How's that going to happen? Not our job. Yeah, and I just want to put a plug in going along with that for vision boards. Have you ever done uh, a vision board? Yep. Okay, I got to tell you something. I've done two, like one vision board years ago that actually worked, and I decided to do a vision board recently, and I did a bigger one on a big poster board, and it's like all the magazines that you gave me, the ones that you're going to ah, chuck. I used yeah. all those for, to Wonderful. cut things out. And it's like I found the perfect images to put on there. And the vision board itself, this sounds so crazy, but it's so true. It made me so happy and still makes me so happy just to wake cool. up in the morning, look at that vision board while I'm eating dinner, looking at the vision board, just walking past it, looking at the vision board. And the crazy thing is, is I'm already manifesting stuff from that vision board. Ah, awesome. 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 That's wonderful. Yeah, vision boards are great. Can I one-up you on that vision board? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So I was recently out at a conference, a, a kind of a workshop in California for the Evolutionary Business Council. Big shout-out to Evolutionary Business Council. You guys rock. And I met um, Natalie Ledwell, who is the creator of MindMovies.com. And MindMovies.com, and I've already I've started to. I haven't finished creating it yet. I've already started to create my first Mind Movie. And the Mind Movie is like a vision board on steroids because not only do you like can take still pictures and videos and add in, but then you can add in music to it and you create this three to five minute, I mean, you can make it longer, but I would say three to five minute movie uh, with affirmations in it and pictures of things you want to have in your life. And so when you, and then once you create the movie you replay it like twice a day and you just watch it and it just like tunes your whole nervous system into having that thing in your life and so the key thing is you want to actually act as if and allow it to be in your life now how does this tie into our topic of generosity today? How does it tie into the topic Sam? <laughs> I'm glad you asked Rob thank you so much for asking because when we have what you want and when we feel that we've gotten all these things, our cup is overflowing. And that's the point at which generosity naturally comes up. And generosity can be sort of one, again, one of those shortcuts to... Um, to actually manifesting those things and having them because when we're acting as if we already have what we want it's so much easier to be generous so if we're already acting as if we're generous because we have it it's like okay yeah i do have it so i can be generous like then we can do it okay so dana asks how do you make a mind movie okay so i'm, I'm actually uh, uh going to give a big plug to to the the name of the website is mindmovies.com i'm, I'm going to get up and get set up as an affiliate for it because i really believe in it so much so i'll have the link once i get the affiliate thing next week done i'll, I'll post the the movie the affiliate link on facebook and i'll, I'll post it in the comments of, of the thing but basically with the my movies it it, it my movies.com you create an account and and it has in it already sort of a library of pictures and videos and affirmations and even some music you can upload your own music you can upload your own pictures and your own videos and basically you 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 start putting in some pictures you lay down a song that maybe you like or some music that you like you add some text to each of these images it's like creating a a PowerPoint slideshow in a way with a music background, except it automatically, you know, once you process it, it automatically transitions from one slide to the next to the next. And, and so that this, the, the mymovies.com website kind of like steps you through it. it. It's really, really nice. So I'll, I'll have that, that link up uh, next week. So Dana, thank you for the question. So generosity, w why is it so important? Because look, once we've gotten everything we want, what is there in life, right? You know, let's just say, as an example, you have everything in your life you've ever wanted right now, here today, in this present moment. You've got the lifestyle you want, the, the relationships you want, the, 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 the home or multiple homes, the, the income, the business, the, the touching millions of lives. Like, what comes next? And, and according to Maslow's, you know, hierarchy of human needs, it's contribution. 
It's giving back to people. Like that is an essential need. If we're not contributing to people's lives, we just don't feel like our life has meaning. Of course, you know, that's, that's all a presupposition and that's the meaning we put behind it. But it's just the way most of us, at least in Western culture, that's the way we are. So the next natural step that naturally flows from having everything that we want is to be generous with other people. And so it, it's, it's, it's the way we are when we have everything we want. Now, I know some people may say, yeah, Sam, but I know these wealthy people and they're the stingiest. They're not generous at all. Look, I'm not going to say like it, it, there aren't exceptions to the rule. But if you're a decent human being, if you've got a decent heart, which I think 90 to 95 percent of the human beings on the world actually do, right? It's only a very small percentage who are psychopathic, who, who just make everything all about them and, and have no sense of anybody else. Most people actually do. Once we've gotten everything we've ever wanted, we just naturally want to give to others. And even if we don't have everything, as long as we have something, we want to give to others. And actually, I find most people, just as long as they see somebody else who has less than them, you know, who, who just, you know, is, is in much worse circumstances than they are, they naturally want to help to lift the person up. So generosity is actually a very spiritual practice. And it's, an, and it's a spiritual practice in an energetic way. That the more generous we are with, with other people, with the world around us, with the plants, the animals, the more generous we are with ourselves. You know, generosity doesn't just have to come from dollars and donating dollars to causes. Generosity comes from sharing ourselves, our time, our presence, our, 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 our ear to somebody else. You know, being generous can be as simple as just being there and answering a text message or a phone call from somebody who just needs somebody to share with, right? It, it doesn't have to be this big, giant, oh, my God, to be generous, I have to have all that money. No, we can be generous with whatever, wherever we are and with whatever we have right here, right now, today. Right? You know the old expression, I used to complain that I had no shoes until I saw somebody who had no feet? Right? Think about it. If you're griping because you don't have the latest pair of sneakers, look at people on the street or, 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 who, who like barely have a shoe that they can strap around their foot. All right? There are always people who have less than we have. So being thankful for what we have will naturally lead to generosity to those around us. So what do you guys think? Feel free to call in if you'd like to be on the air with me. Our call-in number is 877-480-4120. If you'd like to, just comment on the Facebook live stream like Dana did. Just type in your question right on the, the comment section. Welcome, of course, to the Facebook live stream. Jane and Sean, thank you guys for tuning in. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about why being thankful, being generous, um, why it's so important to the energy we bring to things. So everybody, please stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> 